As you probably have already guessed, today we will talk about how to adjust your derailleur. Let's take a look on the main aspects of tuning your derailleur. We have two screws marked high and low, which control the limiter and a barrel adjuster for cable tension. And that would be enough to adjust a rear derailleur. First, we must shift the chain to the smallest gear on your cassette and to the big ring on the front. Now we must look at the jockey wheels of a derailleur. If they are not aligned with the smallest gear, the cable must be tightened up. The smallest cog must form a straight vertical line with the jockey wheels of a derailleur. If it doesn't, we must either loosen or tighten up the cable by screwing or unscrewing the barrel adjuster. Now we must shift the chain to the largest cog of the cassette and the smallest ring on the front. As you can see, the tension on the cable is a little too much. Thus, we must turn the barrel adjuster for a few turns clockwise to ease the tension and to prevent the chain from falling onto the spokes. Let's give it a try. Perfect. If, however, the chain is still going onto the spokes, it means that the limiter is mistuned. As I said before, the limiter is controlled by the screws with the H and L signatures. High is for the smallest gear, low is for the largest. When we are tightening the high screw, the shifter moves further away from the cassette. That's why we have to unscrew it a little bit so that the chain would not move past the small cog. On the other hand, if we are tightening the low screw, it prevents the limiter from moving too close to the spokes and vice versa. That's why the screw L has to be tightened and the H screw must remain loose. After we are done with adjusting the movement of a limiter, we must shift the chain to the middle chain ring. And then, using the shifter in pedaling, we must check if all works as it should. Remember that on a middle chain ring, shifting must work smoothly on whole range of cogs. In this case, we have seven. And let's go try it out. Shifting to a higher speed. Well, as you can see, it does not work that well. And backwards. Far from being perfect. For instance, now it did not shift at all. It means that we must loosen a cable for a little bit. Alright, now that's better, but isn't perfect still. Loosen a little more. Let's try it. And back. Ah oh yes, that's what I was after. One half turn more. Brilliant! Everything works just well. You see the little sucker is trying to escape. In this video I showed you how to adjust your derailleur from zero. For those of you who has no issues with the movement of the limiter, these operations are not necessary. You can just twist your barrel adjuster and that would be enough for you. But for those of you who replaced a derailleur or has bought a bicycle in the box, this video I hope would be really helpful. That's all for now. Goodbye.